Hello, Salaam Alaikum and Namaste. Welcome back to another fun field session with your war chef at wareva.com. Fish brings great memories to me as I first learned cleaning fish from my mother. And whenever we clean fish at home, we used to have cats hovering around the house in anticipation of tidbits from the cleaning. Even today, whenever I clean fish, I hear the cat meowing sound ringing in my ears. Fish is universally consumed as a very healthy food. Oh, one billion people rely on fish as their primary source of animal protein. Fish, especially saltwater fish, is high in omega-3 fatty acids which are heart friendly. And a regular diet of fish is highly recommended by nutritionists. This is supposed to be one of the major causes of reduced risk for cardiovascular diseases. It has been suggested that the longer lifespan of Japanese population may be partially due to the higher consumption of fish and seafood. Today, let's learn South Indian fish fry. For the recipe we are doing today, it is a South Indian fish fry. A typical fish fry of this nature, we use freshwater fish like catfish, bass or kingfish. Or I prefer river sole than any other fish. But today we are going to use catfish. You can look at the recipe. This recipe consists of curry leaves, coriander leaves, red chili powder, coriander powder, chopped green chili, turmeric, oil, salt and ginger garlic paste. We also use lemon juice. I have taken fish tons of uh, catfish. A don is a cut that is across the bone and in round in shape. And the thickness that of your finger. Wash the fish under running cold water to clean it. After that, pat it with a napkin or a towel to extract any of unnecessary moisture. I like to prepare my marination on the side and mix it to the fish. That way it evenly coats the fish. They take little turmeric, coriander powder, chili powder. Watch out if you if you are a little mild eater, you can add a little less chili powder. I like my fish really spicy. And I like to use chopped curry leaves. A lot of people they don't use this because they don't know, but chopped curry leaves added to the marination brings out really, really good flavor when you grill them. And you can add little chopped coriander and uh, chopped green chilies. Little ginger garlic paste, use half a teaspoon of uh, ginger garlic paste and salt. Salt your taste. And I like to use little bit oil in this marination then I don't have to use oil actually while uh, grilling the fish and use lemon juice to my marinade. Mix all the ingredients and then I pour it on my fish. And then coat my fish evenly. For this kind of fish, try to use marination uh, very little and uh, right quantity. I like to use little all-purpose flour to my marinated fish as a coating that holds the marination to the fish and doesn't fall apart when I try to fry. Now that we have let the fish marinate for like 15 minutes, I don't like to marinate this fish for a long time because 15 minutes or 20 minutes marinating a fish is, um, is good enough because the fish is so tender the juices go in as soon as we uh, grill it. While we are marinating, we added oil. So now we don't need to add any more oil in this grilling. This way you can control the amount of oil, keep it less oily and uh, make it good. In fact, um, catfish has some oil to it. So that, that, that also melts and adds some fat to the fish. The marination is very well sticking to the fish and cook it in a medium heat. Don't um, put it at a very high heat and uh, on a medium heat cook it like for uh, around 
7 to 8 minutes, that's when the fish will be ready. The best way to know if the fish is done is take a spoon or a fork and on the river side, touch it near the bone. If the, if, if the meat is falling apart from the bone, that indicates that the fish is done. So this is still much attached to the bone, so let it cook for two more minutes. After two minutes, turn the other side and uh, cook the fish on the other side on a medium heat for few more seconds. After around seven, eight minutes, the fish is pretty much done. Now look at this. So even if I put a bow and it comes off, goes in and comes out smoothly, that means the fish is very well done. So all we do is take the fish, This is how you make your fish fry South Indian style on a flat top griddle. This is very healthy with usage of very little oil. Wow. This is awesome. This fish is awesome. I need to eat the entire. <laughs> wow. What a wow. Fresh fish being highly perishable, we have to handle it with here. Did you know that the world's largest fish fry festival is held each spring in the city called Paris in Tennessee? I hope you have enjoyed today's session and learned the basics of fish fry. Remember that Wareva is about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes, cooking videos and cooking tips so others may benefit from your great cooking. Mm -hmm.